Good day and welcome to Blathering Over Meditation Games. Today's Tuesday, February 5th. I was born in winter. Snow on the seaside is not very common here, so am I. Little moon dancing in front of you. You look at her. She's awesome. You fall for her. Still, you keep looking until she just pops away. I look at the train stopping by and I always hope to see a certain someone getting off. It almost never happens, but when it does, I melt. A gap tells you many things. It might not just be that you're missing something, but rather it tells you you were taking something for granted and you can know how important it was now that you've lost it. Growing up, growing pains, space to walk, take your time, stop when needed. And it's by Federico Fasche and Mulder's Animations. Okay, it is made in Unity. So that means I can quickly do this and turn off display capture. So we got a fox. Oh wow, this is like... Okay, yeah. I'm waking up the fox. Hello. Oh, okay. Right. Um, so we're talking S, it makes the fox back up. And W makes the fox go forward. So let's go backwards for a while. Perversity. I admit. Still, it is pretty cute. Yeah, we're definitely moving around. It's definitely a actual level. I'm going to see how long it'll let me go backwards. Oh, you got paw prints in the snow. Hmm. Come on, let's see. This is, yeah, me deciding to rebel against the system. You've given me two options, and I'm pretty sure you want me to pick one particular option. And thus, I will pick the opposite. All right, now we've gone up against an invisible wall. Oh, look how much perkier this fox is now. It's going forwards. Oh, look at you. Not sure what the mouse is meant to do in this situation. But still. Looks like the sound loop uh, kind of ran out there. Well, hello. We walk up to the lights, so we stop. And then we get a moon that pops down, like a bubble. Can we howl at the moon? It just popped. Bubble moon popped, and now we can go backwards again. Does this let us look at the light post? No. Okay. Hmm. But what did the moon mean? Hello. All right. So this, uh huh. It's a tram or a train on the tracks. And there are people goes phasing through the train or tram. Okay. See, unlike yesterday, where, like, this is pretty much what was written on the tin. Today, today I got no idea what to make of this. So they're gone, and I guess now I can get up. The background sounds looped again. I suspect. Ah, right, okay. And now we can see a bridge extending. No? Because I'm pretty sure if the bridge doesn't extend, this isn't a very useful structure. Just saying. 
Nope, it just glowed and made no odd noises for a while. That... okay, sure. Sure. I guess. And then we go back to sleep, because we are a sleepy fox. Okay. And then fade out and quit. At least we're back to the predictable aspect of that. So, what does what was that? Let's just go back to the initial description. Okay. So, little moon dancing in front of you. We did have that. Yeah. Foxes in the snow. I have no idea how common that is. We're looking for someone. Maybe if we watch this again. Uh, a gap that tells you many things. Okay, all of those things were there. Space to walk. Take your time. Stop when needed. Okay. Sure. Now I'm wondering if, like, if we were, were to replay that, would we potentially see the right person getting off? Because that's about the only thing I can think of. Just keep looking until it pops away. Yeah, that was the moon, but... What does it mean? I'm really not sure. You know what? Let's take another look. We're just gonna we're not gonna walk backwards pointlessly this time. We're gonna go forwards. And we're gonna see if we can like we're gonna this is a lot more of a complex game. We can see if there is room to explore. So yeah, we don't have to stop at that first one. That's a very cute little fox with a pretty good walk cycle. I swear its paws look a little hoof-like at times, but, you know, that's okay. So we stop here for the train. And, yep, it is exactly what we expect. So each of them are like that. And so here we're waiting for someone to get off. Hoping to see someone. And they're all different colors uh, on a spectrum from blue to pink, I guess. And I guess we'd be looking for someone that was well off that spectrum, but nope. Anyway, doesn't matter. Whatever it was, we didn't see them. And then I think the one that I find the weirdest is the gap. I mean, the moon popping... The moon bubble thing was pretty odd. Not gonna lie, it was pretty freaking weird to me. But still. If we just keep going past, do we just... Is that it? Like, will we just come to a stop? Yep, we will. And yawn and go back to sleep. Okay, so kind of get up and move. It's an odd one. Really not sure what to make of this. I mean, it does do the things that everything in the description is referenced. I just don't know what it means. Um, I mean, it's an expression of individual individuality, but what specifically is expressed? I don't know. Do you? 